We all remember the Occupy Wall Street movement. We covered them here a lot. Just about everybody formed their own opinion about the protesters and their cause. Whatever you think of their agenda and them, they've reformed now into Occupy Sandy. They're redirecting their energy into helping hurricane victims from the Jersey Shore to Long Island Sound. NBC's Katie Turr has our Making a Difference report. There are no official badges. All they have for identification is a first name scribbled on some masking tape. These volunteers may not have legal charity status, but that's not stopping them. They desperately need our help. They lost everything. And the war attacked the rich! Remember the Occupy Wall Street movement, famous for taking over New York's Zuccotti Park and coining the term 1%? Well, now they have Occupy Sandy. Within days after Sandy hit, Occupy went to work. And while FEMA temporarily shut its doors during last week's nor'easter due to bad weather, Occupy never did. More than two weeks after the storm, thousands of people volunteered daily. Sasha Brown is just one of them. He helps pack up supplies and deliver them to people in need. Uh, I'm just another New Yorker helping out other New Yorkers. His band yeah, finished touring, so he borrowed the van and showed up here. Who's paying for the gas? Uh, I am. Or the band is. They That's don't know it yet, but they're donating it. Although the Occupy movement says they have no leadership, they have set up a hyper-organized system for this. Three main hubs in New York, each with a command center, a medic dispatch, and a car dispatch to organize drivers. There's a phone bank, kitchens that provide two hot meals a day, and no shortage of helpers. They use Twitter and Facebook to match donations to needs and UPS to deliver supplies that have been carefully picked out. Wonderful, thank you. With $400,000 in the bank and next to no overhead, nearly all the money can go straight to relief efforts. For all of small, every little bit helps. They're trying to help people to survive. No bureaucracy, and the Occupy volunteers say that means no problem. Katie Turr, NBC News, New York.